Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor. And in today's video, we'll try to find the centroid for a circular sector. Okay, so this right over here is a circular sector and you can clearly see that it is symmetrical about this, this sort of um, dotted um, red line. And let's just write over here, the angle above is alpha and the angle below, since it is symmetrical, it has also got to be alpha, right? Now let me have a coordinate axis, that's it. One thing is for sure, the centroid of this uh, circular sector is going to lie somewhere here. Let's say that this centroid is represented by x bar comma y bar and this is something that we need to work on. Now one thing is for sure since y bar is along this x axis that means y bar from observation can be written as 0. So the one thing that we need to work on is the value of x bar. How can that be achieved? Here we go this way. We need to take a sort of triangular strip. You can you can you can assume this circular sector to be composed of infinite very small triangular strip this way this way stacked up in such a manner so that you can have a circular sector right so this is exactly what we'll try to achieve and if you watch carefully guys this small little strip is at an angle of let's say theta and over here small angle made let's say is represented by d theta and if you watch carefully from here till here okay let's say that the distance is r if this is r and this is a d theta then the length of this arc very small arc okay can be written as let me let me write this properly can be written as r d theta and this is something something of this sort if you if you try to have an arc and let's say that arc has a center somewhere here and if this is r and this is theta then the length of this arc is actually r multiplied by theta and here the only difference is we have a d theta in terms of um, in place of theta okay what's next well guys uh, this strip is going to have its own centroid somewhere here right and that centroid is going to have its own x and y coordinate let's say small x with a noodle at the top small y with a noodle at the top so this is precisely the centroid of this small triangular strip right now let me do a separate analysis let me let me shift this um, tri uh, triangular strip somewhere here something of this sort and let me rotate this okay so that's how now let me tell you something if you have seen my first video where I taught you how to find the centroid of a triangle you must have seen this that for for a, for a triangle the centroid is at a height of this much one third of the height so the height is how much that is radius r so this has got to be r by 3 if this is r by 3 then this distance let, let me make this properly that this distance has got to work out as r minus r by 3 that is going to be 2 r over 3 right so guys uh, watch this carefully this distance is actually working out as 2 r over 3 let, let me write this properly that's it okay now if that is 2r over 3 and if this is theta then this distance this small little distance okay this over here can be written as 2r over 3 cos theta that's it that's it okay so we have the x coordinate and if you want to go ahead and write the y coordinate of this centroid of this triangular strip you can go ahead and do so this is going to be its y coordinate well it's not needed that is going to be 2 r over 3 sine theta we don't need this okay now let me let me put in the values but before that i need to calculate the area also so this small little area of this small little triangular strip is going to be equal to area of triangle that is half of base base is how much this this is nothing but r d theta base is r d theta multiplied by this height that is going to be r so the area essentially works out as r square d theta over 2 okay so now let, let me put in the value value of x noodle that we have got is 2 r over 3 cos theta let me put an integration sign okay we, we're going to put the limits also don't worry 2 r over 3 cos theta what else the next thing that we have is da 
so we've got the value of dA from over here that is r square d theta over 2 that's r square d theta over 2 and again we have a dA again with an integral sign um, this is going to be again r square d theta over 2 that's it now what you can do is you have to start from here uh, precisely um, here from this point and you need, you need to end over here so you can actually take the limit from say minus alpha to plus alpha okay you can put in the limits from minus alpha to plus alpha minus alpha to plus alpha in both numerator and denominator but there is an alternative what you can essentially do is you can put limits in this form also from say 0 from here to alpha right from 0 to alpha from here to here from 0 to alpha from 0 to alpha the only changed that you need to do in this in this expression is you need to put a 2 over here okay if you take the limit from 0 to alpha that essentially has to be doubled uh, so that it can have the same impact as that of from minus alpha to plus alpha that's it here also you need to put a 2 now let me let me let me cancel all the stuff 2 and 2 will cancel this 2 and 2 will cancel and anything else no okay again let me change the pen color and let's proceed and this is going to be very interesting cos theta r square r this is r square that is r and that's going to be r cube and that's going to be an integral from say 0 to alpha and this is going to be cosine theta dot d theta and all of this divided by again we have an r square taken outside since it's a, it is a constant we have an integral from say 0 to alpha and we have a 2 over here and this is going to be d theta am i missing out something this 3 is something that i have missed out over 3 all right all right so this r square cancel out one r will remain above and this is going to be equal to 2 r over 3 and now let's integrate in the numerator integration of cos theta well it's going to be equal to sin theta and the limits are going to be from say 0 to what alpha that's it and in the denominator we have nothing that means theta to the power 0 so when you integrate that you'll have this theta from 0 to alpha and that's it we have worked it out this is going to be 2 r multiplied by this is going to be when you plug in the limits sin alpha minus sin 0 is 0 don't need to worry and this is going to be 2 r sin alpha whole divided by 3 times of alpha so this precisely is the x coordinate of the centroid of the circular sector okay ah uh, so guys that was all from my side for today and if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has enhanced your knowledge of mechanics then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon for instant updates instant notifications anyway i'm going to be back with more such videos on mechanics and drawing until then it's a wrap this is manas patnak signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing thank you